in case you have never heard of them, um, I want to not recommend, but uh, tell you that the immerse.zone uh, 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 website is an AI powered image search tool where you can, of course, like every other image search, you can type a description of what you're looking for. And you always get this image that pretty much looks a bit like what you want, but has something wrong with it. There you can take that image that is almost right and copy paste it into that website and it will give you a bunch of images that look like the one that you posted so it can it's not going to generate a new image but and it usually usually brings out um images that are uh under published under public licenses that you can actually use without infringing anybody's rights to intellectual property so that's nice the other one is eduaid.ai and it's uh, an artificial intelligence designed specifically for lesson planning. Robin was talking about it with uh, before, but the, it eliminates parts of the difficulty of the prompting correctly because it has category. Do you want to have an activity that's the, of this type? I will. I won't describe it to, uh, totally to you, but if you want to use Explore AI for lesson planning, that would be a good tool. And we talked about uh, ChatGPT a lot. I will conclude my intervention by talking about the importance of privacy. Never uh, that the data that we put in AI is not ours anymore. So we have to be extremely careful with personal information, whether it's ours or uh, the students. Uh, concerns about ethical corporate greed uh usage of the data and things like that and i think i'm going to reach out to james and mention that we have to remember that ai is not smart that it will regurgitate the wrong thing if you put in the wrong queries thank you everybody <laughs>